welcome back to YouTube. It's Desi here and today's video is gonna go crazy because I made this top and this top used to be a turtleneck from Target and this is like a tutorial which is like safe for girls with larger breasts like I do. So this top came from an inspiration that I saw on Pinterest and I saw this really cute top and I had to pin it to the point where I had to make like a board for it to say like DIY inspirations and all that stuff because I wanted to recreate that top but make it knit and very beautiful and make it, you know, for girls with bigger busts. I have Meg Thee Stallion bust size and how like those low cut crop tops all those types of tops that Megan wears makes me more confident to wear those types of tops. So this is one of those tops that really makes me feel comfortable and makes me love the way I look now. And this tutorial is not easy. It's not just like, oh, you had to sew it for one side, cut it off and you know, all that. But it does involve some steps here. Like you have to make the casing you have to make the strips, you have to like, since this is like a knit top, you have to like kind of make it neat and within all that stuff and it has a band on the bottom so you have to deal with that too. So, and then also you have to deal with the buttons as well. So this will probably take, I wouldn't say three hours, I would say more like a week or so. This is how long I it took for me to make this top in middle of like working and doing errands and preparing for you know staying inside for a while so if you are looking forward to this video and want to see how I make it please please keep on watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel please give this video a thumbs up and then also comment down below for more ideas and all the really good stuff. If you haven't done all that, please pause this video to do all those things I said. And then you can uh, press back on play and let's go on the video. So disclaimer, I did not get the chance to do the sewing machine part of the thing. I thought doing that and, and filming at the same time was like, because I do a lot of things, it kind of puts me out of focus. And then at the same time, my room was like a disaster at the time when I was making it from like, you know, going back home from college. So I'm gonna show you like where I did it, like the casing, where to do the casing, where to do the stitching, all that good stuff. So that's like a little disclaimer I had to put on for you guys so you can know like why I did things and then there are some accidents that kind of go along the way so if there's any improvisations going through that video I'll probably let you know but please keep on watching and listen to the process excuse my awful nails but this is the top I got this one from Target and I got it in my regular size so purchase your top in the regular size for the best fits so what I did was to line like a bandeau or a crop top against the top and what I'm going to do is to cut down the bottom on the bottom of the top is where I'm going to crop it so that way the top can cover best my cover my boobs best and I recommend a top that actually really covers your boobs and that you really feel comfortable like a crop top that doesn't show a lot of it because this top is going to show a lot of skin. We also are going to cut off the collarbone because we do not need it. And what you can do is to line up against your favorite tank top, preferably like a square neck or a rounder, like wider neck top for the best fit as well. And then here's the transformation. I used one of my sports bras and also added extra fabric, like included extra fabric for seam allowance. Wipe. I also went ahead and cut up the opening at the front so I kind of cut it into like a little kind of a little bit like a rounder square wider neck you also wanted to also have allowance for the string that will come in like the casing and stuff 
So make sure you have that on lock. So excuse, we already stitched up all this part up. The stitch is kind of a little bit messy because I'm a beginner sewer. I haven't been on the sewing machine for a while, but we're going to cut off the excess fabric if needed. And then as well, once we do that, it's kind of a little bit messy on the top, but we're going to fold up the top so that to make the little casing for the string to go through. And then as well, stitch up the bottom for the bottom casing. The bottom casing is going to start on uh, this side to here, but we're also going to stitch around the back as well. So the casing is going to start from the sides, but we're going to like sew from the back as well to make sense. So while I'm at it, I did the bottom that we cropped off and we just gonna save that for the string. So we're gonna cut it to small pieces. I didn't sew the small pieces, but if you want to for a cleaner look, you can. So these strips are cut and now we are attaching these to this part of here. If you want them a little bit more neat cut, you can, you can sew them along, but Honestly, I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave it how it is and kind of twist it. And I uh, know I kind of like that look, and I like the look kind of that that kind of gave the little strap. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna attach these for the drawstring, and I'm gonna do the same for the bottom. Okay. So I forgot to include this footage, but with this string that you cut up from like the bottom part of the crop tart, we're gonna sew it across or not sew it but like loop it across the back with like a safety pin that's what I did around like the color part and the bottom part so the top for the top part I actually kind of sewed it along the shoulders like hold it lock the strap in along the shoulders like sewing it on the sewing machine but it's doing it along the shoulders is kind of optional so so this is the top with the straps on the top I did meant for the top with the straps on top instead of the bottom because we're gonna cut another piece of this. And this piece is used for the bend of the top, so what I did is usually sew it around as the bottom and I just flipped it over for like the neat. But what I'm gonna do with this is to attach the band across the bottom of the top at the end so it can make like the bend part of it and then also then attach it to the top once before well once I made the casing for the other straps like on the bottom but leave a little bit of room for like the string so it can go through easier so this is the top almost done and have the band on the bottom it was kind of rough because it wasn't the best in the back, but I did the best I could do. So now we're just gonna put on the buttons. I have these type of buttons I'm gonna show you right now. So these are the sewing snaps, and these are kind of old, but these are the ones that we have laying around the house. So I'm just gonna put four pairs of these right here in this part, and then also this part so it could fit better and that these drops could stay together. So um, I meant to say earlier, it is two buttons on each row, but this is the bottom part of the top here, and this is the entire top. You can adjust the strings however you want to, but I had it this way because I have big boobs and I do not want to spill all of it, but you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder like I have it right now. So this is the entire video. I am so happy and proud of this work, y'all. Like this drip, like honestly, I just cannot wait to show the girls what I've been working with staying inside. And if you ever come across this video and that really inspired you to create this top, you can just roll the girls and say, hey, Desi taught me to do this. So. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, any other video suggestions, compliments, everything, and then turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Also, please share this video with your friends. I would love for you guys to share this video. 
to anyone you know who is like very bored and stuck inside for a while and wanted to do something while they're bored. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye everybody.